what is your status uh, in Australia? Like, how big are you? How big are the crowds you are playing for when you're doing your own shows? Uh, well, our last, our last headline tour, uh, we played to kind of 1,200 sort of capacity venues. So, and this, in, in March, we're going back to play a show in Melbourne at the Forum, which is about one and a half thousand. Mm. So, hey, good size for us, you know, we're pretty happy with that kind of size. I don't know how you can quantify how big we are though. Yeah. We get yeah. lots of airplanes. We're this big. Yeah. <laughs> if that's, if that's yeah, like... Big. Yeah. That's you too? <laughs> that's us, yeah. Mm. Uh, do you have the feeling that you have to start over again now you're here? That it's an, the Great start of an feeling. entire new story? Or are you building on words from what you already have? It was kind of like the, uh, the testing, you know? Doing it all in Australia, seeing how people react, and then seeing which songs worked, what didn't. Testing our live, live um, set and that kind of thing. So here it's good. We just come in and slot it all into place. It is sort of like studying. Yeah, yeah it you is. Know, it you is. have to but do all awesome. the hard yards again, which mm -hmm. yeah. you know, setting up gear, playing to maybe 15 people, that kind of thing. Coventry was maybe 20 people, um, but we had a really good show. They all got into it. But is it more important to get it started over here and in other parts of the world than in Australia? Because the market is perhaps too small or...? Uh... Yeah, there tends to be a trend for Australian bands. Once, you, once you've played the five main cities in Australia, once you've done that route a few times, there's, there's really kind of nowhere else to go except to take your, your band overseas and introduce it to the wider market. So, mm. yeah. Because yeah. everything's so far away in Australia, it takes yeah. an hour by plane to get to the next big city to play. So it's just very expensive and there's not many people. Um, so, yes, that's the answer <laughs> to your question. Yeah. It, it has been uh, nine months since uh, Bliss release was released. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but now it's starting here. The, the story is now starting here yeah. and it has to be released still. Yeah. So th that's like, you are walking around with that album under your arm for a very long time. Isn't yeah. that somehow frustrating? Or <laughs> no, I don't think so. Because it, what do you mean, before it gets released here? No, it's fine. Yeah, and then you have to play all those songs again yeah, for, a, for oh, a year. Oh yeah, yeah, right, right. We kind of knew that this was what we were getting in for. Like, you know, plenty of other bands played the two of the same album for two years, you know. Um, but we've gotten to the point where we're like, wow, we really just want to keep writing songs so we can keep ourselves interested. Because mm. otherwise you're playing the same songs, like you said, on stage every night. So and I think start the writing again. part of the beauty in Australia was seeing the crowds gradually learn the songs. So each show and each tour, progressively more people knew the songs and more people would request songs and sing along and all that kind of thing. And that's, that's the fun part for me anyway. Mm. So here it's, you know, no one knows it. So great. But Not last yet. Later down the track, yeah. Last I mean, they were Aussies. <laughs> oh well. We, Aussies Aussies. Aussies. we Aussies love our Aussie Amsterdam. fans. Though. Yeah, <laughs> they follow you around. No, they well, do. I, I mean, you know, we chatted to quite a lot of Dutch people. Last yeah, no, it was good. Well. It's really, really nice show.